Howdy, folks. Uh, Widget Wallace from NeedCoffee.com here. Back again for another Way Homer review. Uh, here's how it works for the uninitiated. Oh, works by turning that down. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. I've just seen a film. I was in the cinema. It's back that way. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about that film on my way home because it just saves time. And today we're here to talk about Dark Shadows. Okay, synopsis. So, the Collins family came to Maine, started a fishing empire. Trouble was, the young Barnabas, the son of the family, caught the eye of one of their house servants who also happened to be a witch. It's terrible luck. And uh, as a result, because he apparently, uh, well, could not return that love because, you know, he just wanted to sleep with her. Um, did fall in love with a, you know, a, a, probably a, a girl, the kind that you marry as opposed to the kind that you sleep with. That appears to be part of the message of the film. Anyway, so, uh, but the witch was kind of pissed off about this and decided to curse the Collins family and do horrible things to them down through the years, including, but not limited to, uh, throwing or having the girl, the nice girl, throw herself off a cliff and then turning Barnabas into a vampire and then locking him in a box for close to two centuries. Because, you know, that's, that's love. Um, Yes, I think there's probably some Yahoo groups about that as a fetish. Anyway, so, as you see in the trailer, Barnabas is released from the box, wakes up, and tries to get back to the business of being a vampire, being a member of the Collins family, and dealing with this witch person. So, there's your synopsis. Now, this is based on the soap opera slash TV show that, as I understand it, first of all, if they just, they're coming out or have just come out with some huge box set, which is all 60,000 episodes of it or something, it's huge, it's ridiculous, it costs your left kidney. And um, basically, as I understand it, because I was aware of the show, I've always been aware of the show, but I don't think they ever showed it where I was living. Alabama, we were lucky we had television, and uh, so I think by the time it came around to where it was accessible to me, it just, the idea of any soap opera just didn't appeal to me. So I haven't, I'm familiar with the show, but not a fan of the show simply because I haven't really watched the show. But as I understand it, it's the soap opera that introduced a vampire on a lark and suddenly went, wow, this is popular, and went down that road and stayed on that road. But, so, so I'm, I'm not invested in the show. I am coming to this, like most people are coming to this, which is where, as we're walking into the cinema, Cosette goes, this is based on a show? So, I mean, so there's the majority of the audience who's going to go see this just sees it as, oh, Johnny Epps playing a vampire, and ha, ha it's a man out of time thing. So... What I gathered from the trailer was, we were looking at Johnny Depp playing a vampire, being Johnny Depp, he's usually pretty good, right? You might have some interesting other character things going on, but it really painted itself as, as a man out of time comedy, which has been done by some things that are, you know, fairly successful, like Back to the Future, has a lot of that in it, and uh, some less than successful, like Black Knight. So, I mean, this is not an original concept of, what year is it? Oh my god, these cars are so strange, and oh, your clothing is so weird, and how do I conduct myself in this new time period? Ah, oh, it's so wacky. That's not necessarily new. The good news is, is that really the majority of that stuff, uh, you've already seen in the trailers. So it's not, that's not all they're doing. It looked like that was going to be a crutch that they were going to just lean on. Um, but they didn't. 
The bad news is that probably would have been a better idea because, quite frankly, what, what you've got that's good, okay, is you've got Johnny Depp, who is actually, I mean, I don't know how he compares to the late Jonathan Frid, who I believe I caught the cast little cameo thing, which was quite nice that they did that. Um, but, I mean, he's good. I don't know if he's playing anything like the original Barnabas. Don't know. Don't know that I care because I'm not invested. But I thought he was at least funny. Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer, who was good for playing the, you know, the matriarch of the cursed family, she was good. Jackie or Haley was amusing. She so had some amusing bits, okay? And indeed, at the beginning, it looked like it could have been a decent comedy because that's really what it was painting itself as, was a, a comedy, you know? So, that was all good. The problem was, it's, I don't know, it's trying to be a kind of family comedy with the man on a time stuff as a side dish, and it doesn't really do anything that's unpredictable, original. Not that I was expecting it to, oh wow, this is amazing, it's breaking new ground in soap opera feature film adaptations. I mean, that wasn't what I showed up for. But it just wasn't very funny. So if you're gonna go, okay, we're gonna take this, which wasn't a comedy, and play it for comedy, when, when really, I mean, honestly, the trailers made it look like that Tim Burton was really upset that nobody had offered him Adam's Family 3 and just decided to make his own. That's what it seemed like. Um, when you're going for comedy, make your movie funny. You know, I guess is what, I, what it boils down to. Because there are some funny bits in it, but they don't, it's, it, it's not consistent. It's, it, it feels flat for most of it. And it's just not funny. So I showed up perfectly ready to go, whatever, TV show, entertain me, and found myself not very entertained. Because really, when your movie is, is you know, grounded in the idea that, well, we're just going to follow the antics of a, uh, a horny aristocratic vampire, that can only take you so far. That's a sentence I never thought I would use in conversation, to be perfectly honest. However, that all being said, um, it goes from interesting and perhaps a little amusing to being flat, and then by the time you get to the end, you go, you were a comedy, right? You were, you were did, I, did I walk into the wrong film? You were a comedy, right? Because it veers into this weird, supernatural something. I don't know. <clears throat> that just felt really, really random, you know? Where it just felt like they they were getting to the end of the film and they went, well, there was all this stuff that we wanted to put in here. I suppose we should just throw it in now, right? Because the movie, the credits are going to be here in 20 minutes. We should, like, blow the wad, right? Let's do this. So, I mean, that's honestly how it felt because random things happen at the end and... They're not funny, they're not interesting, they're random. I, I won't spoil it, stuff, because it's not, yeah, I, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to say it other than that. It's just utterly random and befuddling. Um, so, there you go. It just, it starts off okay and just sort of just crashes into the ground and then starts digging. Is there anything else good I could say? Well, you know, I could say, I, like I said, the cast was good, the direction, and I suppose the costumes were good for being in the 70s. I've tried to block that error out of my mind. Um, now, should you see it, so, so basically that, that can be, that you could take that assessment for whatever it's worth. You could say, oh yes, well, that's exactly how I feared because I liked the show, or I didn't like the show, but I was, uh, or, or you could go, horny aristocratic Johnny Depp vampire, my prayers have been answered, I can't wait. Whatever you want to take that however you want. But, <clears throat> I will say that, um, as far as a recommendation goes, no, I mean, 
honestly, the announcement about it coming out on Blu-ray, uh, it's going to be here in two months, and, uh, you know, you can just get it, rent it off of Netflix, whatever. It's not that there's not bits worth seeing, it's just that there's probably not bits worth paying nine bucks for. Um, Cup-wise, you know, it's it started off about a three, it sort of coasted at about a two and a half for a long time, and then took a nosedive at the end, taking a lot of beatings about the head and shoulders, and wound up at a one-cup film. Um, that's how bad the ending was, where just stuff stopped making sense, and it just got ludicrous. I mean, really, it was like, okay, like, when, when, you're, when your special effects are making me think that you got, that you bought some, like, leftover special effects used in the Haunting remake, it's not good. So, yeah, one out of five, I would say wait and, uh, wait and watch it for free, if pop. Wait for Netflix. Don't spend any extra money on it. You'll probably thank me. Anyway, I, that's unencouraging. I was, I was hoping for more. So there you go. There's another way Helmer in the can. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully next time we will have some more positive things to talk about. Uh, if you like these things, uh, do us a favor. Uh, come and like us on Facebook because that is where we hang out and we post stuff and occasionally do silly things. Uh, you can find us at needcoffee.com slash Facebook. That'll take you right to us. So uh, thanks for watching The Way Homers. Share these with someone you love, and we will see you next time. Bye.